So in this short video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to build your first multi-device C++ application using Red Studio X6. We'll say File New, FireMonkey Mobile Application C++ Builder. We'll create a blank application. And we can look at this in the design surface as an iPhone, a Galaxy S4, or some other form factor. And this is just for laying out the user interface of our application. So we'll start by putting a button. We'll put that button up here at the top and we'll change its property to uh, click me. And we'll change its text property to click me. And then we'll, uh, we'll add a date edit component. And that'll let us choose it from a calendar of dates. And finally, we'll add a label, and the label will be used to display the date that we select. So on a click of the button, we'll take the contents of the, of the date edit and display the result of the selected date in the label. So we'll double click on the button to bring up its on click event handler. We'll set the label one's text property equal to, and we'll use the function format date time, which takes two parameters. It takes a format string for what we want to display, and it's going to take a, a date time value. So let's put in here four M's, and that will give us the uh, long form of the month, uh, two D's for the day, and a comma, and we'll put four Y's. and close the string. And then we'll say date edit one, uh, its date property. So after we're done with the user interface encoding, we can open up and uh, choose Android, look under the target platforms. And I'm go I've got a Galaxy S4, so I'll select that device. I've also got a Nexus 7 tablet and my Google Glass connected, as well as an Android emulator. But you will run it on the Galaxy S4. So we'll compile and link and run it. And now the APK has been deployed to my Samsung Galaxy S4. And you're seeing it here live on the screen. So we'll go and select the calendar. We've got the native Android calendar edit. We can choose a date, hit set. And then we'll click the click me button and it'll display the long form for the date that I chose. Let's go back and go under the target platforms and choose the iOS device. I've got my iPhone enabled. So we'll go and compile it and we'll go and run this on the device. I've got this utility that'll show you what shows up on my iPhone. And here's the icon appearing for the application, Project One, built in C++, the splash screen. Here's the same application. I'll bring up the native date picker using the date edit component. And when I'm done, click done, and then click the button and get the long form version of the date that I chose. Now to build a Windows and OS 10 version of the same project, I'll go up into the project group. I'll right mouse click and say add new project. In this case, C++ Builder FireMonkey desktop application. And we'll choose the HD FireMonkey application. And let's go and save all of this into my directory. In this case, I'm going to throw away the unit that was created with this blank form. I'll remove that from the project. And instead, I'm going to grab the same source code from the mobile project by saying right mouse click add dot dot dot. And that's called unit one CPP. So now I'm using in my desktop application the same form, the same source code for the event handler, and so on. Let's go into target platform, Win32, and hit run. Here's my 32-bit Windows version. I can go under here and choose a different date, click the button, and get the long form date. Right mouse click, bring up the 64-bit Windows platform. 
enable that, compile and run. Here's the 64-bit version of the application, same code, same components. And I can right mouse click and bring up OS X as a desktop platform. We can go and run this same application. It'll now compile it for OS X, deploy it over to the Mac. Here's the application. Choose the date edit, different date, click the button, and get the result in the label. So that's how easy it is to build a multi-device application using C++ for both iOS and Android for Windows 32-bit and 64-bit and Macintosh OS X using the same source code. Have fun building multi-device C++ applications using C++ Builder XZ6.